Greeting viewers, Fireshare welcomes all its viewers in today's video. Today we will discuss about data link layer. In our previous video we have covered about physical layer. So in this video we will know about the second layer of the OSI model. So these are the things that we will cover in this video. Introduction functions and the hop to hop delivery of the frames. Data link layer. So the data link layer uh, uh, transforms the physical layer, a raw transmission facility to a re reliable link. It makes the physical layer appear error free to the upper layer, that is the network layer. The figure in this uh, slide shows that the relationship of the data link layer to the network layer and the physical layer. The data link layer is responsible for moving the frames from one hop or we can also call node to then the next node. It is the second most layer of the OSI mo model. This layer is one of the most um, complicated layer and has complex functionalities and liabilities. Data link layer hides the details of underlying hardware and represent itself to upper layer as medium to communicate. It works between two hosts which, which are directly connected in so some sense. The direct connection should be, could be point to point or broadcast. The system on broadcast network are set to be on same link. This layer is responsible for node to node delivery of the message. The main function of this layer is to make sure the data is transferred error free from one node to another over physical layer. When the packet arrived in the network, it is responsible of DLL to transmit its host using the MAC address. We will know in next slide what is DLL. Oh, sorry. The work of data link layer tends to get uh, more complex when it uh, when it is dealing with multiple hosts on a single collision domain. Data link layer is responsible for converting data sig stream to uh, signal bit by bit and to uh, send that over by underlying hardware. At the receiving end, data link layer picks up the data from hardware, which are form of electrical signals, assemble them in a recognizable frame format and hands over the to upper layer. Data link layer have two sublayers, logical link control and the media access control. Logical link control, it deals with the protocol and flow control and error control. We will know these functions in our next slides. Media access control. It deals with actual control of the media. Now, we will discuss about the function, functions of the data link layer. Framing. This is the most important function of the data link layer. The data link layer takes the packet from network layer and encapsulates them into frames and then send, them frame, uh, send each frame bit by bit on the hardware. As at the receiver end, data link layer pick up the signals from hardware and assemble them into frame so i have mentioned both the functions from like uh, from the receiver end as as well as from the sender end addressing second function is addressing data link layer provides address to um, provides layer to hardware uh, addressing mechanism hardware address is assumed to be uh, unique on the link it is encoded into hardware at the time of manufacturing synchronization this term we have already discussed in our previous uh, video if you have any doubt you can refer to that video when the data frame are sent on the link both machines must be synchronized in order to tran uh, transfer to take place now the packet received from the network layer is further divided into frames depending on the frame size of network interface card. It also encapsulates the sender and receiver's MAC address in the header. The receiver MAC address is obtained by placing the address resolution protocol. It requests onto the wire asking who as has that IP address and the destination host will reply with its MAC address. I hope it's clear how uh, data link layer works now we will know about some more functions error control sometimes signal signals may have encountered problem in transition and bits are flipped 
these errors are detected and attempted to cover actual data bits and also provides error reporting mechanism to the sender. Flow control. Station on the same link have different speed or capacity. Data link layer ensures flow control that enables both mechanism machine to exchange data on same speed. Multi-access. When host on the shared link tries to transfer the data, it has high probability of collision. Data link layer provides mechanisms such as CSMA CD to equip uh, capability of receiving and accessing a sh shared media among the multiple systems. Now, this figure illustrates how hop to hop or node to node delivery works in the data link layer. Note that the frame has an uh, exchange between the three nodes have different values in the header. It, uh, it, the figure shows how the communication at the data link layer occurs between two adjacent nodes. To send data from A to F, three particles del uh, deliveries are made. First, the data link layer at A sends a frame to the data link layer at B. Second, the data link layer at B sends the new frame to data link layer at E. Finally, the data link layer at E sends the new frame to the data link layer at F. The frame from A to B has B as a destination address and A to the source address. The frame from B to E has E as destination, uh, destination address and B as source address. The frame from E to, e to F has F as a destination address and E as source address. The value of the tailors can also be different if error checking includes the head, head, uh, header of the frame. I hope you, uh, you, uh, the hop to hop deliv delivery of the data uh, is clear. Now um, we will discuss about uh, next layer in, uh, that is network layer in our next video. Uh, until then, um, thanks for watching.